So I've had a question or two about these uh, motion access things. These is something that are appearing on like older robots. If you're a newer facility, I think Fanuc has updated it so it's less like cryptic. Let me explain what's going on here. So if you get an error, you're gonna get, a, if you get this error right here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a number that's a three digit number. So say I got a, a number that is uh, zero, two, one. What I need to do is first look at the first digit. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change colors here. So let me look at this first digit right here, and then I'm gonna go over to my chart under the first digit, and I'm gonna see where the one course where the one is here, and it's gonna tell me what axis is having an issue. So in this case, the it's a one in the third spot, so it means that axis one is my issue. So so if this helps, you know, boom, that's where it intersects. So I know axis one has one of my issues. So since there's a two in the second spot, let me make that purple here. I have to see where there's a two here in the second digit. And where and since this intersects here, I can say that this here equals to a to a motion limit error, meaning that it's reached the end of its its travel for axes um, uh, one and six, okay? So let me erase all that and let's do another one. So say I have a, um, so say I have a, an error code of, um, of uh, let's say, so zero uh, C, CB, okay? I know, I know, because remember, hexadecimal, um, it goes up to 16, so uh, A is 10, B is 11, C, so you can see the hexadecimal digit, so if you need help with that, I can explain that, but that's because binary is base two, this is base 16, so technically this is the same as 15, 14, you know, so this is the same as 15, and this is the same as 10, but that's not a big deal. If you can just read this and say, okay, I have the first digit, here's a B. So if I go in that first digit column and let me go to a different color. Okay, so it's a B. So let me go to the B, you know, first digit. So here's the first digit, you know, right here. And then here's my B. So here's an issue with these four. I know I got an issue here with these four axes right there, okay? Now for the C, so for the C here, that's a second digit. Okay, well here's my C, here's my C part of the chart. And then second digits here. So it says axis is seven and eight. If you see seven and eight, that's extended axis is like on a position, positioner or a rail or something along that lines. Those are extended axes. So now I can say I got problems with axis and let me change this to black. I got an issue with um, axes uh, one, two, four, and with my C here, seven and eight. That's how you read that error code. Um, again, I think some of the newer LR mates did away with this, but this is something very popular in older LR mates. Um, so just that, so we wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. Okay. I hope this helps kind of clarify things. The ones that you have are a lot easier, um, but we'll go from there.